virus has even made its way inside of our prisons, some of our nation's most secure and guarded facilities, but with a higher risk for infection once it's taken a hold of an inmate. Alexander Rangel brings us a 13 on your side special report on how the virus is affecting our local prison population. If he gets it, he's at a higher risk and he, he's, he's at the, the whim of the California Department of Corrections. Kimberly Hernandez worried about her husband who was immune compromised and is serving time at Calipatra State Prison, protested outside the facility after getting word that staff members were not following health protocols after two employees tested positive for the virus. The California Department of Corrections and Rehabilitation confirming their first coronavirus cases with two staff members on March 20. Two days later, CDCR confirmed that an inmate had tested positive. There is one inmate at Lancaster who has tested positive for COVID-19. Fast forward five weeks, more than 140 prisoners and 90 staff members at CDCR facilities have tested positive for coronavirus. And just this week, CDCR confirmed its first inmate death due to coronavirus complications, leaving family members worried about their loved ones behind prison walls. My husband called me and he told me that um, the some of the correctional officers in his building were not wearing masks. According to CDCR, all staff members and inmates are required to wear face coverings on CDCR grounds. A policy is one thing and actions are another. So it is until I hear from my husband and he tells me from his own voice that they're wearing a mask, I'm going to be out here. Shortly after interviewing Hernandez, she received a call from her husband with an update saying most of the workers had started wearing face coverings at Calipatra. Although face coverings have been provided to inmates at Calipatria, according to a prisoner and family advocate, several prisons in the Golden State have failed to provide inmates with protective coverings. This according to what she's been told by her husband, who's serving time in a prison up north, as well as what she's gathered from families that seek her help. Visits for our loved ones, we have been unable to visit since early March of 2020. The staff members are the ones that are bringing in the virus into the prison. There are certain officers that are not even wearing them. There's some prisons in the state of California, they haven't even been provided with the masks that they need. Garcia says there are many discrepancies CDCR has put out during this time. Well, CDCR has continuously said that they've been providing our incarcerated loved ones with additional cleansing supplies like soap and sanitizers and things of that nature for everybody to remain clean, but they have not been doing so. Out of precaution, Garcia says her husband has temporarily refrained from calling her because he has no cleaning supplies to sanitize the phones they use. What I've told my husband is, you know, for his safety, lock it down. I mean, I really, there's no communication between my husband and I other than Mel. He literally only goes out to get the things he needs to eat. According to CDCR's coronavirus policies on their website, they are taking measures to mitigate the spread of COVID-19. Any place that you have contact with, cleaning needs to be done. I, as secretary, am asking of the director and all other wardens to make sure that cleaning is being done. Visitations were suspended, new inmate intakes were put on hold, and inmates about to be paroled have been fast-tracked and released. Although some preventative measures have been taken, Garcia says more can be done and should have been done to prevent the virus from entering our prisons. We do talk with administration every two to three months. We still haven't received anything in regards to answers. We reached out to Calipatria State Prison regarding coronavirus policies implemented, but we're told to reference the CDCR website. Unfortunately, our incarcerated loved ones are always overlooked. Unfortunately, they're sometimes even looked as less than humans. It's just very disheartening knowing that individuals don't care for our loved ones. As of Thursday, CDCR confirmed 149 inmates in California have tested positive for coronavirus. Locally, Calipatra State Prison has confirmed two positive cases from staff, and Sentinella State Prison has confirmed three staff and two inmates have tested positive for the virus.
Reporting in Imperial County, Alexandra Rangel.